highly eventful game. Caden Jackson finds Freddie Ladapo. Jackson continues his run into the penalty area, cuts it back, drops for Cameron Humphreys, and Cameron Humphreys slots it home, and Ipswich take the lead. What a fine finish from the youngster. It's yeah. two and two for him, and Ipswich lead championship Rotherham. Yeah, and deserve. We've been all over them, but for once, we actually make the space out wide on the right, and the quality's there. Instead, like everyone's gone back onto sort of the six yard box. And instead of just whipping a ball in or, or making a mistake, he's pulled it back nicely and Humphreys has come onto it. And instead of just smashing it like we have with a couple of the other chances, he's just slotted it in the corner. It's a really cool, composed finish. And you've got to say, well done, Jackson, because we've been dying out for a bit of quality to come into the box instead of just aimless crosses. And he's picked him out and he slid it in the corner. That was a brilliant move down the right-hand side. Like you say, Caden Jackson at the heart of it, played it into Ladapo, continued his run, got the ball back. And then it was a really dangerous ball back into the penalty area. Clad his goal with an opportunity to level from the penalty spot. It's Washington. He sends Sladke the wrong way. And it's 1-1 in the Emirates FA Cup third round here at Portman Road. Cup third round from the penalty spot. It's Chaplin. It's 2-1. Connor Chaplin continues his fine scoring run. And Ipswich are back in front against Championship Rotherham. Yeah, great finish. Just tucked it away nicely. He, he's just full of confidence. I didn't ever think he was missing it. The way, the, the way he just wants to shoot, wants to get on the ball. When he went and picked the ball up, you could just see there's only one place this is going. It's in the back of the net. Today, Rotherham have brought 215 supporters. Kyle Edwards might have slid it through to Ladapo. Ladapo, round the goalkeeper. Can he make it 3-1? He can! Freddie Ladapo against his former side. Surely... Let's put Ipswich, certainly with one foot, in the fourth round of the Emirates FA Cup. Great work from Carl Edwards to find Freddy Ladapo. And what an impact Freddy Ladapo has had in the last five minutes of this game. First he won a penalty, and now he gets on the score sheet. 3-1 Ipswich Town. Excellent play. It's the subs. The subs have come on and really made a difference. You see Harness with the centre-half who absolutely towers over him. He's won a header and he wins that header. And once he's out of position, the centre-half's come out of the left side. Harness wins it. It drops to Edwards. And it's brilliant centre forward play because he's spun into the space the centre-half has left. Slid the ball through. The goalie's made a really poor decision to try and come out because Ladapo's quick and he's just took it round him and slid it in. Well done, Ladapo. Well done, Ipswich. Game over. Burns makes it four. Ipswich Town four, Rotherham one, and it's four goals to fire Ipswich Town into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Yeah, very cool. Just waiting for the goalie to move and smashed it down the middle. I think Burns has been terrific since he's come on. Like three or four brilliant crosses, slotting away a penalty, but Vincent Young made it, passed it, ran into the box, just ran off his man, wasn't really tracked, and he's, he did track him, but because he was so late doing it, he's the wrong side, and as soon as you hang a leg out, you're just going to go down.